Now, chat, we're going to go on the greatest gauntlet known to man. This is an ichthyological lab practical review. This is a practical review for a test given to an ichthyology lab. Are you up to the cut of an ichthyology lab? All right, we've got a lot of competitors today, including Fish himself. The fish. All right, let's see. The sea lamprey, blank, while the northern lamprey, blank. I know this one. We have both of these species in New Jersey. Theoretically, I should win this one, right? This is an ichthyology lab practical. So, this is a 41 question quiz, yes. This is an ichthyology test given to an ichthyology laboratory student. Study for a real test. Wah, wah, you guys just fell for the whole sea lamprey thing. Nah, sea lampreys head up into freshwater. Genus and species of the fish with a gular plate, an eye spot on the caudal, and an abbreviate heterocircle tail. Good luck, bozos. I'm convinced scientists are dumb and make big words to sound smarter than me. You're not wrong. You attend the talk, like a talk of a research paper for almost any, like, group of science. They're just saying a bunch of words like you get like I could translate this, you know, like an eye spot is literally just a black dot. Bottles the fin on the back. An abbreviate heterocircle tail just means the tail is kind of circular and like rounded and it stops earlier than you would think it would. <laughs> like people just be using big answers for no reason. Correct answer is a Mia Calva, the bowfin. Bofidis nuts. What is the common name of Lepisosteus osseus? Lepisosteus, meaning something stomach. Nope, something bone, like osteoporosis. Which one of these involves bones? They must be using Latin to way to fuel their ego. No, Latin is actually very useful, but the big words and vocab we use is just to make us feel special. I will, I will admit that one. Genus, species, and tail type of the American paddlefish. Now, I'm not totally sure about this one, but I know acupenser is sturgeons, and polyodon is paddlefish. I think the tail's homocircle because it's even top to bottom. Damn it, it was heterocircle. Unfortunate. True or false question. Hey, everybody can get this one, right? Squalus succulii has ganoid scales. I have no idea what the fuck Squalus succulii is. I would be failing this test right now. <laughs> Squalus good succulii. Fuck, it didn't have ganoid scales. The smooth dogfish uses melanophores to change its color as a form of can. Well, that sounds way too complicated to be made up. Surely that's not made up, right? This one has to be. I have zero points right now. Okay, that's not good. Just by pure statistics, you should at least have one. True. Yeah, that was way too specific to be false. Genus and species. Okay, we just have to identify this one. Easy peasy. I don't remember sunfish as well as I should, but I think gibosis is pumped. Wait, have I fucked myself? This is a pumpkin Gibosis bluegill? Fuck! Gibosis is pumpkin seed. I hate my life. I forgot which which one was which. Alright, we got this one. I'm gonna name genus and species. How do I still have zero? That's embarrassing. It's a largemouth bass. Microterra samoides. It did not have the, the cheek lines. It had like slight pigmentation on the cheek, but it didn't have like the true lines that small mouths have. Genus and species. I love this fish. This is one of my favorite fish because I see it so rarely. We have them in New Jersey, but they're just super rare. This is the cut lips minnow, Exoglossum maxilingus. I'm just picking the same color over and over again. How's that going? Which is not a defining characteristic of brown bullhead. I caught like the first three and was happy and not one since. And you guys got to do better. You guys have the whole internet. You can fucking cheat. You can be Googling right now. Hail barbels, what the fuck? That really- Oh, which is not a defining characteristic. I read that as which is a defining characteristic and picked serrated pectoral fin. Duh. Oopsies. My bad. Genus and species. I don't remember what persiflavescence is. What is persiflavescence? That's gotta be one of the per- One of the perches. Notropus hudsonius is spot tail. Rhinicthes cataracti is long nose. Notomagonus chrysalucus is golden shiner. Which is what this is, the golden shiner. What family is this species? Oh, sweet booby. Wait, Soap, you should know this one. Well, Soap will know what fish this is. But Soap won't know the family, probably. From Catastomidae, the sucker family. Northern hog sucker. Which characteristics would you use to identify a Chinook salmon? That is a horrifying specific epithet. The white sha? 
I've never worked with Chinook Salmon in any capacity, and I hate this Latin name. Anko Reinkush Shawaisha. No way is that Latin. I mean, Latin names come from a variety of sources, but... Yeah, I guess you look for the black gums of the Anko Reinkush... Blah, 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 blah. This is a northern pike, true or false? Well, I don't know that much about the ones that aren't in our area. I could tell you this is not a chain pickerel, because it doesn't have the black line under the eye. That's about all I could do. Damn it. Wonder what it was. I just said, I was just thinking if it's not a chain pickerel, then it's a higher chances that it might be a northern pike. Such thing as a southern pike? Probably. <gasps> Sweet booby. Soph could tell you this one too. I made a video about this fish. John. Yes, this is Sir John Darter himself. Yeah, this is the Johnny Darter. I'm not going to say the Latin name because last time I did, you guys freaked out. That is John Dory himself, the Johnny Darter. Genus and species. Yeah, I made a whole video about the difference between the Johnny Darter and the Tessellated Darter and how they're like genetically identical in a lot of places and the whole species line thing is kind of bullshit. Red or blue? Well, considering red was literally the answer to the last one. And this is the central mud minnow. And this is um, white perch. Roni Americana. Is that the white perch? It is Neogobius. I didn't know that. I don't even know what that fish is, but that was the only goby related genus. Which species is in the family Cyprinidae? Oh, it's wrong. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, this quiz is wrong because everything, all the true minnows from uh, Cyprinidae have been moved to the family Leucicidae. And thus are no longer in the Saprinids. So one of these used to be a Saprinid, but is now not. What do you mean moved? They basically re redid the genetics with better techniques for all of the fish in the United States and gave them different relation genetic relationships to each other. So whereas these used to be in the same family with the carp, and those used to be in the same family with the carps and stuff like that, they now are not. Turns out they had their own family. What is the common name of this species? Falls Promolus. I know this one. We have this one. Wait, fuck. Wait, I don't know which one is which. <laughs> fuck. I don't know which one's the fat head and which one's the blunt nose. You guys could get this with an easy Google. I think Promolus is the fat head. I think Promolus is the fat head. But I'm not sure. Yeah, fat head. Family genus and species of the tadpole madam. Ooh, we have that in New Jersey. Polaris is like bullheads. Wait, no. Imaris is bullhead. There's, there's some in everything. This is cat. This is... Animal cats, this is bullheads. No tourists is tadpole. There's with mad toms. Family and common name. That's a weird one to be in this quiz. Every single other fish in this quiz has been a North American fish. The first one that's not North American. South American longfish. Yes, longfish are very adorable and they have their long spaghetti noodle arms, so they're pretty easy to tell. Common names of two species in the Clupeidae. Well, you guys are just going to have to guess if you got ads. Didn't this just get changed too? <laughs> I think this got changed like the other day. These are not in Clupeidae anymore. I think Clupeidae is no longer has these. All right. Assuming everyone's done with ads, those are the true Clupeidae, even though they may not be even in Clupeidae anymore. Third ray of the red hake's anterior dorsal fin is elongated. That's just so specific to not be true. It's just way too specific for this to not be true. Yep, there's no way. It's too specific to be made up. Family, genus, and species. You guys need to cheat better. I'm still in first by a good bit, and I gave you all permission to use Google. The known fact that if you sub to AVNJ on Twitch, the government cuts your taxes in half. Send you a personally signed letter by Joe Biden that says, Thank you for supporting our American heroes. I'm sub to Zach and I don't have to pay taxes. Well, uh, well, I don't know about that. I think it's probably worth still paying taxes. Think type markings can be found on the dorsal sides of brook trout. God damn it, stop asking me questions about trout. I literally saw a trout yesterday. Was it yesterday? Today, Wednesday? Two days ago, I saw a trout. I saw a trout, a brook trout, less than 48 hours ago in person. And I have no idea what the answer to the question is. I kind of remember it having spots. <laughs> I don't know if the spots were on the, or on the dorsal fin. I don't know. They, I think they were definitely on the pectoral fins and on the side, but who, who knows where else they were. Oh yeah, whatever the fuck that word means. What family is the round skate? Fuck! Uh... Rajadai the... Gatadai is cod. 
Walladai is dogfish. Payadai is herring. Rajadai, I think, is skates and rays. Straight up, like I'm studying for my ichthyology exam in college all over again. Genus and species of the Longhorn Skull. I have zero idea. Process of elimination. What the fuck is yellow? Myoxocephalus octodecim spinosis. I don't know how I said that so well, but I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> fuck, it was that one? Went for Europhysius. Oh, Physius is a hake. Why didn't I think of that? Bluefish can identify a short, spiny anterior crystal fin with seven to nine spines. That's not how I would identify a blue. Even if this is true, it's just blue. If you catch a fish in the ocean and it's kind of long and blue, it's just a blue fish. I do not need to go to its anterior dorsal fin and count the sp It's blue. Crazy. How many more questions? We got five more questions. If you are anywhere on this, you could still potentially win. Common name, body shape, and tail type of Makaira. Uh, I think this is right. Isn't it, isn't it kind of lunate? Kind of looks lunate, but I don't think the body is cylindrical. I think the body is... Com Wait, no, the body is fusiform. Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm over it. Maybe it is cylindrical. And the I think the tail is definitely lunate. Fuck. I should have just gone with the lunate tail, even though I didn't know the body shape, because it was definitely lunate. I will not lose this. Genes and species of Atlantic cod, and how many dorsal fins does it have? I'm ready. Gotta die. The cod family. Gad, famous word meaning cod. You guys know that there's a cod called uh, Micro God. It's in the genus Micro Goddess, and it's the like, epithet is Tom Cod. Tom means small, micro means small, goddess means cod, cod means cod. So Micro Goddess Tom Cod means small cod, small cod, but in two different ways. Anyways, goddess, goddess. What? That was goddess Morua? Ah, fuck. I was doing a whole spiel about the fucking repeated goddess goddess thing. Wait, fuck. I might actually lose. Hold on. Striped anchovy and bay anchovy are both in which family and genus? I don't remember. One, one of them's anchoa michele and the other one's anchoa something else. Anchoa michele and anchoa something. I don't know. Dude, ocean fish are not my specialty and there have been way too many ocean fish. There have been very few freshwater fish. on. Alright, two more questions. Oh, I think it might be out of reach. I think I might have won. Redefining characteristics of the rainbow parrotfish. What the fuck? This is this has been about like various like game fish, and then all of a sudden there's a parrotfish. Where is this quiz from? And it was a short timer. Let's go. Can I get the last one right? One true or false? The pelvic fins of the round goby are fused suction disc. All right, chat. Last question. Twenty seconds. Make it or break it. Your position can change. Got none right so far. Got a 50 fit. Imagine the last one's false. Yeah, after the whole thing was. Nah, unfortunately, the, the identifying feature between gobies and sculpins. Is... All right. Third place in the Ichthyology Lab practical review. Bazinga. Second place. Blossom is an autumn. And number one. <laughs> I'm glad I got way too many wrong. 29 out of 41 is embarrassing, but. I'm glad at least I got the most right out of everybody on that one.